Hi, I'm Shri Peruvemba, uh, Chair of Marketing for uh, SID. I'm here with Simon, who's CEO of Iris Tech. Simon, thank you so much for uh, sponsoring our CEO forum. Our as pleasure. Well as being a big supporter for SID. Um, so, uh, you know, among all the different things that you can do at SID, uh, why did you pick a forum like this, and how, how does this benefit uh, Iris Tech uh, as a company? Well, I mean, in multiple ways, uh, you know, our customers are here, so uh, naturally this is a good place to come and meet them, uh, show off some technology. Uh, it's also a good place to actually network uh, because we're expanding our business and uh, trying to connect ourselves to other parts of the display ecosystem, and this is the place where you go if you want to talk to every sort of facet of that, uh, that ecosystem. So panel manufacturers, for instance, are the companies we want to, uh, are talking to this week while we're here at the show. Um, as far as the forum's concerned, the CEO forum, uh, we decided to sponsor that one because we actually, I thought it was actually one of the more interesting forums to, to sponsor because everybody wants to hear about the stories of, of people who have been successful as well as uh, some of their failures. So that's always a fascinating uh, panel session. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. well, thank you for doing that. I hope you'll continue to sponsor over the years as your company is more and more successful. Um, tell us a little bit about Iris Tech. Um, you offer uh, something very unique. Uh, you're not actually making a display. You're making no. displays better. Yes. Uh, you're making the user experience better. Tell yeah, us a little bit about your company. Well, Iris Tech actually straddles uh, two worlds. Uh, on, the, on, on the one hand, uh, we are, of course, improving the display experience, the user experience, and, and the visibility on the display. But we don't actually sit in the display system. We, we sit, actually, as a, a content engine on, just before the display on the applications processor side, feeding content to the display. Um, and we've, come, we've invented, basically, our founder, uh, Tara Akavan, who's our CTO, uh, she came up with the idea that basically what's missing in the display experience is, is a smart content engine, which we call a perceptual display platform. And what it does, it will adapt the content to the environment that you're viewing it in. Uh, so if you're viewing it in bright light, you want the content to adapt to how your eyes actually see color and contrast in the bright light. Uh, so this engine that we've uh, invented basically does that. And by doing that, you end up with um, a, a superior viewing experience on, on any display technology, really. And you can also, uh, everything, of course, is becoming personalized. You know, your mobile phone, of course, is very personalized. Um, and of course, your shoes fit. Uh, your displays, actually, you probably spend as much time in front of displays as you do uh, wearing a pair of shoes. <laughs> but your display is actually not personalized. Yeah, yeah. But it can be. And yeah. it can be, for instance, uh, personalized for your age. Because yeah. as we age, we, we see color and contrast differently. In fact, yeah. uh, your contrast rendering ability diminishes. Yeah. So it's, you can use a content engine, again, to modify that content uh, based on the effective age of your eyes and make it, again, a better experience and easier to view uh, display. Tuning it to the individual. Tuning it to the individual. So what markets are you getting traction? What is your aspirations in the different applications that you're targeting? Well, one of the things I've learned from uh, doing three tech startups is, uh, is focus. Uh, and when you're first starting off a, a company, uh, and in fact, Tara, when she came to me, uh, told me about the tech, it was fascinating, and I, I felt there was lots of places this tech could go, because um, our technology works with any display device. Um, so naturally you think mobile phones possibly, but in actual fact, the place we've landed and we focused on is automotive, where uh, the display viewing experience is becoming uh, safety critical, essentially, uh, because the autom cars are being equipped with bigger and, and more displays, um, and those represent um, an opportunity, of course, for branding for those automotive manufacturers. They want to create the best user experience, uh, a unique experience for their, for their passengers and drivers, but it also represents a possible safety issue because it does create a higher level of distraction for the driver. So again, you want to make the content as visible as possible in the changing environment in which those displays are viewed in a, in a vehicle. So automotive is where we focused, but we expect to branch out over the next few years into micro mobility, motorcycles of course, transportation, and eventually I expect consumer devices will want to be uh, perceptual as well. So perceptual displays for mobile phones or tablets. Wonderful. So if I want to apply for a job in your company, uh, what kind of uh, um, talent are you looking for? What kind of uh, qualifications you're looking for in general? In general, well, uh, I'd say that actually we're trying to, to find people that are, are collaborative, uh, in, inventive, 
uh, are courageous. Uh, you know, a startup is not for the faint of heart, but <laughs> we're looking for courageous in yeah. the sense that uh, they're also willing to take chances on, on introducing new ideas and, and new technologies. But because we're a technology differentiation company, we ultimately will succeed on keeping our innovation funnel going through the ideas of not just the research engineers, but the engineers to, uh, who are you know, turning the research work into products. So we're really looking for inventive, creative, courageous, uh, and collaborative type uh, people to join our team. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for sponsoring the event and being a big supporter of SID, yeah. and I wish you all the very best. And uh, I look forward to seeing Aristec everywhere. We will be back next year. <laughs> thank you so much. All right, Shri, take care. Okay.